All right, so I've got the final ad here, and what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to get rid of that Adobe Stock watermark in the background, and then how to export this for press. At the end of the video, we'll do a quick rundown on the design decisions that I made. So first things first, let's go ahead and get rid of this Adobe Stock logo right here. So what I'm going to do is click once on that layer to get my mountain biking image selected. Now, because I never rasterized or flattened this layer, it still has that tiny little cloud icon at the bottom right. What that means is it's still it's still syncing to the cloud as a smart object. So what I can do is in my library up here, I can right click on that image, click on license image, then it's going to ask me if I want to use one of my licenses that I have available. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK button. And now it's going to start syncing right here. It'll show a little check mark that this is indeed licensed. And then as soon as it's done uh, syncing, it's going to automatically take that watermark off of my background image. There we go. Just like that, the watermark is gone. I've purchased that image, and now it's going to be a high-res image that I can use when sending this to press. So how do we send this to press? Actually, it's pretty simple. What I do, first and foremost, though, I'll come up here to Layers, and I'm going to click on Flatten Image. And the reason why, I'll go ahead and discard hidden layers here. And the reason why is I don't want the text to accidentally get moved or I don't want to have to worry about the printer having the right font to print this or anything happening. I want to send this as a flat image. That way there's no chance that anything gets messed up uh, once I send this out. I know that everything is exactly how I want it. So I flatten this image. I'll go to File. I'll go down to Save As. And typically the best file format for uh, print is going to be a PDF in this case. So I'll choose PDF. Actually, in this case, it's Photoshop PDF from my format bar. And I'll just save this right to my desktop for now. And again, it's mountain bike full page add dash final. I'll go ahead and hit save, making sure that we've got this color profile selected. And that's it. You've just created your first ad. Oh, one more thing here. Let's go ahead and turn off preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. We don't need that in this case. So I'll turn that off. I'll go ahead and hit save PDF. And there we go, now that's it. So we have our new PDF file that'll be saved to the desktop and you're good to go. You've made your first ad, so congratulations. All right, now let's take a look at this ad from the perspective of a graphic designer and marketing in mind. So I think it's an effective ad in that it, right off the top, you know it's about mountain biking, you know the word Hiawatha is obviously like, that's what this place is. And then on the bottom right, the call to action, you know, if you need more information, here's, a, here's the phone number. And we've got all the social media icons on the left. So that's all great. Like from, from the perspective of what an ad needs to do, it's working great. Now, a couple of design decisions that I wish I could have done a little bit better would be, number one, is always pay attention to your hierarchy or your hierarchical structure. You can't have the same volume on everything, right? So what I mean by that is this title mountain bike is almost the same size as Hiawatha, but there's a conflict here because the word mountain bike is at the top. Reread top down right, left to right. So since this is at the top, we see that first, but our eye is fighting to want to read the word Hiawatha down here. The other issue is because we have people in our ad, we are by nature, when we see people, we'll look at them first, almost always. And so we've got these people, but they're tiny down here and the title's big. So there's, you know, there's a lot of motion and movement in the ad, which is fine. But typically I like to pick one thing and, and make it the complete focus. So it's okay, but you know, I feel like I could have pushed this a little bit further. And that's where you as a designer have have to decide where you're going to spend your time, right? So sometimes budget or timing just doesn't allow you to, to pursue all of the design looks you want. So uh, anyway, that's how I ended up with this look. And then down here, the rest of it is just making the text fit in a way where you're happy with the negative space and where it lays out. So for example, this chunk of text right here, um, it uh, flows kind of nicely around where his hand is and, and, and where his feet, you know, the negative space is really nice. There's, it's a good balance between the space above this line here on the horizon and the footer. So I'm pretty happy with where the elements line up. And if I turn my guides on, you see everything lines up really well. So pay attention to the elements on a page and how they all come together. Like down here, that guide is carried all the way down to where my text falls on the right and on the left. So I always pay pretty close attention to that. 
Now I'm aligning this text down here across the bottom guide where my safety is. That logo kind of creeps past it'll touch. And this text over here is lined up centered to this logo, just trying to give it as much balance as possible. So these are little design decisions that you'll have to make as you work through things. Don't let stuff just fall on a page and not make a conscious decision about where it's at. Now the other thing I did, I did bring in some custom brushes and, and basically this layer right here is just, it's got a light brown texture over the top of my dark brown footer that has kind of a roughed up edge. So that was just using custom uh, brushes in Photoshop, nothing too crazy or fancy. And feel free to download this file in the assets folder and you can pick it apart and see how I made it. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed this section and uh, thanks for watching.